Hello, everybody. Before I get started on that, I need to do something real quick. I finally got this guy fixed. So I'm going to see if I can touch up his little paint job right by his feet. So I'll work. Okay, good. Ain't too much red, but. There we go. So this was a the sculpture I was fixing last time. Luckily held together after breaking it again. <clears throat> Pardon me. Hmm, okay. Interesting. Thank you. I'll uh I'll take a look at that real quick. I believe I have it all the way up on the uh, speaker system. So I'll take a look. Rash is painted now. <clears throat> All right, let me know what you think. I'll mess with the music for a second. Is that better now? I've touched a little more. touched up his uh, little ankle areas just so that way it's covering up the glue areas ah good 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 okay so now it's time to start we are painting some of the map for lost mines of Fandelver wave echo cave location Dang it. Let's see. Maybe, uh, give me one second. Maybe if I... How's that now? I went ahead and, uh, 
I raised the possible level. So does that feel better? Does that still come in fine? Right now I'm using uh, Mars Black Liquitex. I'm just going to get that and start. Ah, awesome. Good. Well, if you want to, you can come in here and join me. And we can just hang out and chat and talk about what I'm doing and D and D and whatnot. So right now I'm doing a base layer of black just to kind of give that darker tone to the whole thing, to the whole map, or the whole room, I should say. First room in Wave Echo Cave. If you need me to, I can turn this down a little bit, and I think it'll be okay. The, the clarity that you have right now with music is a lot better. I'm not sure what you changed exactly. There's a there's a level on uh, on here for the mic allowance, and so I turned that up, and that should still be okay. I think. Because it's just a little quieter. Mm -hmm. Hopefully. Yeah, if you don't mind. I'm joined by Chelsea. Chelsea Butt, the one that's in the chat. Yeah, if you want to, uh, if, if you don't mind. Thank you, baby. You okay? What happened? Are you all right? No, I kind of like the idea of doing that. Just kind of giving it all over brush real quick. I mean, get that glare out of here, maybe. Does that help? Nope. Does that help? Nope. There we go. I think that'll help a lot more for you guys. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Well, thank you very much, baby. I wonder how much of a delay there is when you're uh, when I'm trying to mess like talk to you back over the chat kind of thing. Really? That is nuts. Weird. I would not have expected that big of a gap. Yeah. Huh. So odd. It's pretty long. I'm careful with this. I'm I'm using that. Um, okay. You sure? Hey, can you pull that chair up? Yeah. I can move this one. Yeah. I can scoot over slightly. <laughs> What do you think? <laughs> it's just black. But <laughs> I'm watching. I'm watching through my phone as well. Is mm -hmm. it looks good. I mean, the fact that you're able to retain the texture. The lines that you made, like yeah. the indentation, like I'm really happy that that it's super is impressive. working well. Like it shows very well on camera. Yeah, I'm hoping that whenever uh, I do, I'm gonna, I'm thinking about doing like a wash type over the black, so that way the black stays in the recessed areas. Um, mm -hmm. so that way it stays a little darker in those areas, and that way uh, you guys can easily see your movement. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think it'll still be pretty apparent, but just in case. Yeah, from the different angles that I'm seeing right now, mm -hmm. as you can, um, it still shows up. So yeah. Oh yeah, I can see around it. the table. Like I, uh, I think it would show pretty well. It was pretty interesting. It was my first time ever doing anything like this. Like building a three dimensional map and painting it. What did you use to cut the film? I used uh, this guy. It's hot wire. Yeah, plug them in. That's how I got all that. It was just by being weird with it. And a lot of cool texture. Yeah, very jagged, kind of uh, very rocky as it is. We are in like a dilapidated castle area. Yeah, it's a cave. Oh, we, have, we yeah. actually are in the actual cave cave right now. Well, you're not there but yet. We're going to be. Yeah, but that, that'll be the next big branch of what you're going into. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't have made these indentions so deep. I wasn't thinking. With acrylics, like they're so thin that you mm -hmm. probably have to do this anyway. Yeah, more than likely. Yeah, I, me I messed up a little bit, only uh, that this area is supposed to be recessed. So I'll explain that when you guys are playing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like acrylic is so hard to build like a texture because it's so like thin and quick drying, so. The quick drying part is what I hate the most about acrylic. I, I'd like to use it a lot, but the quick drying part is annoying. I know that they have a medium. <laughs> yeah, I, know, I know they have a medium that you can add to it to make it more uh, watery. So it dries, uh, takes a little longer to dry. Mm. But I uh, haven't found it, I haven't tried it yet. 
with my experience with uh, oil paints, it's a lot, like it takes forever to dry, but it's so easy to like build peaks. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it depends on how much you put in mm -hmm. that uh, makes it whether or not it'll take forever or not. Such an interesting sound. <laughs> Just <great>. Yeah. <laughs> Styrofoam, one of the best and worst creations of man. Sound-wise, it's probably the worst. Yeah. Environmentally, it's the worst. <laughs> that too. Also, don't ever microwave it or reuse it for uh, more than a day. Why? It's toxic. And so I'll use it all the time. Well, don't drink from it. Don't drink, drink your mouth. <laughs> The uh, I was concerned a little bit because using the hot knife mm -hmm. get fumes a little bit. So I was like, hmm, mm -hmm. I wonder how I'm going to be affected by these. But nothing right off the bat. So 20 years down, we'll find out. <laughs> That's almost all of the base layer done, of the floor anyways. Got to over here. What's that? I'm checking the delay. Uh, uh. Wow, well, yeah. That's that what you're currently bit, doing. Yeah. And I'm still at the bottom of it, like the entrance of it. Interesting. Mm -hmm. It's probably about like 30 seconds, mm -hmm. 30 to 45, I would bet. So odd. It's crazy. Twitch mobile, question it. Okay. Yeah, I'm really hoping that you guys all enjoy this branch of the game. I have some ideas for it. We've been super excited so far. I, like, I mean, I love, ex oh, we love exploring. Slogar loves to attack. <laughs> it works out. Drew is just say, yo. <laughs> no more Clarks. Clark. <laughs> What are some ideas you think you might encounter down here in the in the wave echo cave? Um, my general one, Clark, is he was a bugbear. Yeah, I expect bugbears. Uh -uh. Um, but I don't know enough about D and D monsters, uh -huh. and I don't want to look it up to be like spoilery potentially. You'll be pleasantly surprised. No. <laughs> <laughs> to me, in my brain, it, it makes me think of like Lord of the Rings, like cave trolls, mm -hmm. um, which is like one of the coolest, like super dope scenes. The drums in the deep. Uh, they, they are, are coming. coming. God, those, that writing is so good. So messed up. Imagine um, having to write that yourself. Like. And then in the video games, uh -huh. uh, that is a really fun part when you get to fight the cave troll, especially when you do it as different characters. Mm -hmm. Like, you're a hobbit, man. You're not going that front. You just hide <laughs> a lot. Like, it's like it's not an exciting. It's like Harry thing. Potter with his troll. Yeah, he didn't do anything. Yeah. That was all her mining. I was, gonna, Mione, I was gonna. I was gonna. Say. <laughs> I was gonna say the uh, that meme you shared was interesting about uh, how Legolas and Frodo never talk to each other. That was so interesting. It's seriously true too. Mm -hmm. I don't know about the novels, but in the films, literally, like, you have my bow, and then he's just like, "Oh, I love Elvish and Elves, but." Mm -hmm. I wasn't sure. Oh, yeah. no, you're fine. Which is like, oh, whatever. 
Yeah, he. Uh, I, that's so interesting that they he never they never speak to each other. Mm-hmm. And then <laughs> Alfredo says everybody's name is but Legolas. So it's like, is he like backhanding him back, like not saying a word to him, like whatever, I'm not going to talk to you. Um, or maybe the elves think they're too good to speak to the halflings. Is it is it Brent from Fighter Complex? Is that the it's, it's mm-hmm. Jemaine and I think Brent. I don't remember his name. Mm-hmm. Is in water. Yeah, I know. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it is interesting though. I wonder if it's uh, maybe that w- elves don't uh, speak to halflings, like thinking they're lower than them, kind of thing. I mean, elves respect them. Hmm. Interesting. What's Legolas's problem? Brett. Okay. Brett and Jemaine. Brett and Jemaine. Yeah, and they did that Lord of the Rings song. They do one? We'll never make it. Oh, yeah. We made it. it. I love uh, how Dan from Game Grumps, when he says, uh, I'm referencing. Uh, Fly the Concord thing, which you don't know, that which is referencing Lord of the Rings, something yeah. else you don't don't know. <laughs> so great. Um, the like the I think she is an elf. The main chick who's also in it, she's the voice of the girl who wears the bunny ears and the uh, bobs for her. Uh, you're talking about in Lord in the Fly the Concord thing. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. I I haven't seen it, so I don't know. Um. It's, it's, yeah, it's very short thing. But yeah, she's she's in it. But that was cool. I realize she was active that long in acting. So Fly the Concords is like in 2007. We're lagging. There we go. Mm-hmm. Well, that's when I watched it. Mm-hmm. Well, we was old. Let's see. If I bring this down a little bit. There you go. I think this is dipping. That is the issue, I believe. Let's see if I can get this to stay. Give me one second. There we go. I think that might be better. Yeah. Yeah, I can see. I think that is my delay. Yeah. To show you oh yeah, to watching watching the camera move. There we go. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, I think the camera was dipping. I think so too. It's messed up is that now I feel like I have to like paint every little dot in the thing because of how Slogar pointed out that one little patch of grass that wasn't filled in on a map for my, <laughs> when you when you guys were in uh what was it when you went to go see right off mm-hmm. um, actually as far as painting goes I do have like some sponge brackets mm-hmm. and that might work really well for getting in some of the crevices. Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean this seems to be doing well. I'm just saying that I'm just making the comment that I'm like I'm I'm trying to make sure because how he pointed out the one little patch of grass because he was being a turd. I've never used one. Um, 
I usually use them for decoupage. Decoupage. Um, What's that? Is that French? Kidding. Okay. I know it is. Um, because well, my mom, uh, she used to buy like the little like kind of slightly cardboard but thinner uh, little like decorative boxes mm -hmm. that were just plain. And so we would take uh, like images from like magazines and things. Mm -hmm. And so we would basically decoupage boxes. And so like I used to have a Final Fantasy one. That held my Final Fantasy X deck of cards uh, until uh, my cat like scratched up the box. Oh. Spunky got excited and was playing with it. <laughs> he was like, I love Final Fantasy too. And he loved Final Fantasy X. <laughs> I mean, also, but yeah, you know, he's a cat, so his grammar ain't so good. He can't count. His brain don't work so good. <laughs> what was your favorite part? My favorite part is when they talked about macaroni for a long time. <laughs> they were nominated. <laughs> what do you think so far? I love that that texture a lot on the Holders. Yeah, I like that a lot too. It looks really good like that. Now the inner walls. This is going a lot faster than I thought it would. So I'm happy about that. I... There we go. Trying to make sure I do like one section at a time just so that I don't forget anything because I have a habit of jumping from area to area and then forgetting or missing places. Well, the restream, it does look like super clear and like well coded. Yeah. Good coverage. Good. Thank you. Yeah, I was worried about the camera because like I've, I was, I've streamed with both the iPad being the camera mm -hmm. and the phone being the camera. Mm -hmm. And this phone, I mean, it's brand new, so the camera's pretty good, pretty, you know, clean. But I was worried that it was coming out grainy in the stream. I'm really uh, no, hoping it's not. The, the camera has an Okay, that's good. It's like on my screen that I'm viewing, it looks mm -hmm. kind of grainy. So I'm like, oh, man, I hope it doesn't look like trash. Good. This there you go. There we go. Like just certain uh, frequencies have peaked a little bit, and mm -hmm. then, like the bass was uh, being like a little like intense and mm -hmm. overpowering with the rest of the music. But I also think that that was just part of my delayed restream. Possibly, yeah. On my phone, yeah, uh, because listening mm -hmm. to it like in the a different room versus coming in here and hearing it. Live, it's, it's very different. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, the audio that's being played is from tabletopaudio.com, and this is in their uh, soundboard menu, and it is in the dungeon menu. Uh, and the sound that you can use is Intrigue, and I love this track, I use it for all of their creepy dark areas that they visit in D&D, &D, uh, for the dark forest, for areas that just feel unsettling. It's a good exploration. Yeah, very, very pretty. T Tabletop Audio is a free to use website. Uh, also, you can definitely support them. They have Patreon. They, uh, you can donate to them from their website. And they do great, amazing work and they put it out there for dungeon masters and people to just use for anything so if you get a chance check them out they are really good i've been using them since we started D, D last year around july july or august i can't remember for sure i think august yeah uh, i mean we definitely have like certain tracks that mm -hmm. you use that trigger dun, 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 dun. Mm -hmm. like, oh no. that, yeah, 
Well, with that one, that one is a, I'll, I'll play that at some point. Uh, I have to find my uh, information on the track because I had to, when I switched phones, I lost my information. But that was also a free song online as well. And I'll, I'll like, you know, play more different tracks of what you guys experience and whatnot through, uh, uh, throughout these map making Mondays and work in progress Wednesdays and stuff. That's looking pretty good. Let's see how hard it is to cover these areas. Hmm. Not hard at all. I thought this part was going to be the difficult part. Yeah. I've never used it before. Yeah. Do you know what the brush is made of? Like what kind of um, hairs are used? I have no idea. It's a three-fourth brush, flat brush, I believe. But that's all. I, I don't know the brand or what uh, what material. And my when my mom was in her classes, the brushes I believe had camel hair. Oh, interesting. And, and they were like really good at getting like color across and like spreading without being uneven. Mm -hmm. uh, without clumping and whatnot. Mm -hmm. No matter what medium she was using. Um, that's cool. Yeah, as long as you kept them clean and uh, didn't fray them, mm -hmm. all, like they were the best brushes. Don't misuse them like I am right now. <laughs> as, as I'm as going up and down. Oh man, that is looking really cool. I really like it. Yeah, that's looking really cool. I'm hoping that after the uh, all the paint is done, the layers of paint on top of the styrofoam will help deaden that noise. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm pretty sure it would, because I'm also gonna spray a sealant on it to mm -hmm. make it to where you know nothing ever comes off of it. I think also when we're in the midst of things, we probably won't care. <laughs> no, I know, but I'm just saying I'd rather not be handling it and hearing that noise all the time. I wonder how the dry time is. With acrylic, it's maybe 15 minutes to be completely dry. Mm. Like, depending on how much you coat it. Mm -hmm. Like, um, well, um, the last painting that I did, I used a lot of paint, and it probably took half an hour okay. ish to completely dry. But I also used a ton of paint. I figure that once I'm uh, done with the outer rim, the inside should be all ready for me to put another layer on. I believe so. Yeah. Because I'm going to do all of the inside walls first and then go around the top. I'm just doing like a section by section kind of thing. I like this. Maybe after a little bit, I'll switch to a different track as well. That way, people can hear some different tones from the same website. I was wondering if I should start like how you mentioned doing uh, Instagram lives as well I don't know though it would be interesting because like, I understand like posting a link to Instagram mm -hmm. but I think showing what you're doing mm -hmm. to your followers would draw them in more than just saying this is what I'm doing, it'd be like, this is what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I get that. But I also never done Instagram like. like <laughs> I've done just one or two videos where I was painting, and uh, like when I was working on the Spock, uh, the Count Spockula piece. Mm -hmm. It's like that one was done on Instagram Live. 
Get in there. There we go. There we go. Trying to keep the camera or keep it in camera's view. Oh yeah, okay, that's pretty centered. I guess I should title it ASMR for all of this. You can see the texture really well with the grid that you've made on the map. Good. I'm talking about it so good. I should just get right up on the mic and just talk about the DD stuff. Like, you know, just very. They were in a mine and they fought a bugbear and just be real close. <laughs> Make it to where you can't even. Make it to where you can't even tell what I'm saying because I'm so close to the mic. <laughs> Just sounds like the, uh, uh, yeah. Can I get a, can I get a burger, bur, and a drink? <laughs> no. <laughs> Wait, can you repeat my order? Um, a large drink, prickle. <laughs> what? No, please pull up. What? No, no, please, please pull up. <laughs> I love that so much. It's really funny because mm -hmm. the the paint splatter that you have on your palette mm -hmm. with the dots of color at the top. Yeah. Make me think of the uh, Mike Myers mask. Why is that? Because it looks like a, uh, like a phase. And it's white. Like the mask. You mean like these? Uh, you mean like these two dots right here with yeah. that? It looks like a phase. But it doesn't look like Mike Myers. Not really, but that was the first thing that came to mind. My... It's more like uh, Jack Skellington. Yeah, a little bit. Maybe honest. even Oogie Boogie. Like his like, contemplative angry. Mm hmm. Oh man, that's looking so cool. I'm really excited whenever this map is done. So, um, did the math, measured the table, and the entirety of what you guys use, like from the edge of what you can put up here towards my DM screen to the end of the table, and from edge of the table to the edge of the table, that's how big the map's gonna be. You said it was like four it's by three, three? Yeah, three foot by four foot. So it takes up all of this area though. So from here, all the way. I see. <laughs> it's really exciting. It's gonna be daunting, but I mean, hopefully you, good. I mean, well, also for us, but for you. Yeah. Because you have to create. I'm really I'm 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 probably gonna get more of this fabric mm -hmm. and create another uh, pale grid kind of like this mm -hmm. or a darker color and, and do the grid again. And that way the areas that are like walkways in this map, I can just lay this near mm -hmm. and it'd be a walkway and I can just like yeah. block off areas just so that way I don't have to make hallway Every after single, hallway, yeah. you know. And just really focus on the rooms that you guys yeah. are actually gonna be in. Now I guess we're going to go into every single point yeah. this room. Yeah, I, I like that. That's why it's made. Do the dinosaur. You you kind of do because you can kick down the door and then turn into your dinosaur. That is true. <laughs> you, could, you should so do that next game. You're like, I kick down the door, get on the floor, and I do the dinosaur. <laughs> 
turn into your Velociraptor. That would be so great. You should definitely do it. Chris would Chris would love it. Mm-hmm. Make sure it would be worthwhile and how long I can sustain that farm. Mm-hmm. I need to uh, find you your hyena uh, at some point. Yeah, the hyena. I was so 45 strong. HP. That was awesome. Yeah, like just basically super dire long. Like, yeah. I was I felt so cool. <laughs> mm-hmm. I was like a hyena. Why would you want to be a hyena? And then I was like, okay, what's the HP? And you're like 45. I was like, oh, that's why you want to be the hyena. In my, web, in my uh, weapon class, was only armor class. Less, uh, armor class, yeah. Mm-hmm. It was only one less than my regular. I think it was 12. Yeah. And mine was 13. So it was like, this, this is pretty easy. And my attack was like super powerful. Mm-hmm. And then. Um, I feel like we should be rolling for like uh, like the the enemy because I think they can roll to like not stagger or something. Well, it depends on the attack. Certain attacks or certain weapons could do like knockback or blowback or and stagger think, and stuff and I like think that. That's what bite does. Uh, I don't believe so. I can't quite remember. Like I know there's some sort of at least with the wolf, there's definitely something like. Like that, and it might like have the damage or something. I'm not uh, for wolf. Give me one there's, second. There's I've got wolf right thing. here. Yeah. It's just very easy to get to right here. For wolf. Uh... Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. Uh, it's a. Uh... A DC strength check uh, or strength saving throw on the opponent, mm-hmm. and if they don't make the saving throw, they're going to be knocked down. Uh, oh, you just knocked down. Yeah. Okay, so I still do the damage. Yeah. But no, it's, it's they just... can be like made prone. Yeah, yeah, be knocked down. Mm-hmm. Um. Yeah, I didn't read that before. Uh. Okay. I think I read that when I didn't know what that meant. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> yeah, because I hadn't I hadn't talked about that at all. Mm-hmm. We haven't really done like the the different kinds of damages like slash or piercing or whatever mm-hmm. poison damage and things like that. Well, most of the stuff that attacks you guys is piercing, most of the, or bludgeoning, and I mean the only time it really comes into effect uh, for your for the party is with Slogar because he will be resistant to certain things. I don't know if any of you are resistant mm-hmm. to any other types of things. Uh, I don't I think you are. Charm. Yeah, yeah, but that's uh, because you're half elf. Yeah. Um, so knowing it's a resistance. Yeah, but I mean for attack, attack, like uh, physical attacks. Um, not that I can fall. Uh, I actually, yeah, we did have a it was a goblin that took like poison damage before. Garment mm-hmm. damage. Mm-hmm. We do things like that, and I give them damage. It's just you guys killed them too uh, so fast that it doesn't matter. So. Oh, look at that. This is like kind of dry. That it's really, really good. Really cool. Yeah. Because like all this is still kind of wet, but that area is dry. And yeah, that looks really good. Hmm. We should go to that, um, like either Craig's Emporium mm-hmm. or that really cool shop that I found in Enid. Mm-hmm. And we could get like actual stones. Stones. And did I say it? <laughs> you said like a little, uh, with a little accent to it. It was cute. Um, and we could like place them, and um, we could pretend mm-hmm. that they're not actually treasure, and then I could be like, "I'm going to roll." Oh yeah. I get to get one, and then we all. And I'll be like, "Oh, not high enough. Stays there." <laughs> <laughs> so I uh, was talking with Calvin about your passive perception and it's more of like um, if there's something around that I that I know about that you don't know about with your passive perception I can give you a slight clue to things but you haven't really encountered anything like that in a while 
So, uh, like, the way he uh, described it was, like, if there was, like, a hidden pathway behind a door, behind a bookshelf. Mm -hmm. uh, the way I could describe it to you is, like, you, uh, you in particular, track. yeah, you in particular, you feel like the air is a little different in this area. Mm -hmm. but I and then roll. you still have to roll to investigate the area. I, I did give you I, I did give you like some easiness on the uh, hidden passages of the what was it called the estate the, yeah the, can't remember the, the name red something. yeah the red brands red estate brand. but uh it was but still I don't think we knew exactly what it yeah it's all learning yeah exactly because we're all it's been fun though. I like it. And that helps a lot to you know, like, oh, okay, you can have that hint. Mm -hmm. you know, and then still roll like that. That makes me think, oh, yeah, having perception like that high just on the rag is, it actually means something. Because <laughs> otherwise, I just felt like, oh, this is pointless. What is my wisdom for? Well, no, I mean, you have a plus something up. I can't remember what number it is, but it's like plus three or four, isn't it, to investigation or or uh, investigation? investigation? I think it's three. Yeah, that's, that's really good. Um, but, like, oh, my passive perception is 15. So that should be possible. To me, I feel like it should be You guys just haven't encountered um, stuff, so, like yeah. that. I can just handle the uh, elves turn banshee. Not banshee. What was Agatha? Uh, I don't remember what she was originally. I'll have to. She, oh, well, she was a banshee. Um, she was, but she used yeah. to be like. I, I can't remember if she was an elf or not. I'll have to look into it. There was something that I think it was that I was also an elf, or like part elf. Well, you're half elf, yeah, right? Or are that, you half elf, or no? You're wood elf. You yes, are I'm elf. Wood elf. And I think that that um, made her feel slightly more comfortable around me. I think it was more of that you just wanted to do it. Uh, I wanted to, um, but I think when I approached her, she could tell that I was an elf, and I th I think that that like uh, accepted, let her accept me. Yeah, she's a banshee. Mm -hmm. um, she wanted to be a, a silver mirror or a comb. I think it was a comb. It was a. It wasn't that she wanted it. It was that it was a gift it was, it was given a gift to you by Sister Grail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't state what she was. Just that she is a banshee. I believe. I believe that she used to be a comb. There was something about it that she. <laughs> You're like, I feel she was an elf. <laughs> well, I know. I, I genuinely think that that was part of why she was comfortable talking with me. No, I, it was more of a, you want, you, like, everybody was like, who, I was like, who wants to do this? And you are like, me. And Slogar was like, yeah, let her do it. And you're like, yeah, I want to go do that. <laughs> it's really exciting. That's probably like the biggest thing that I did. I actually handled it really well. <laughs> yeah, I'd like to use her mini again because it looks so cool, so it pretty. Was beautiful. Like, it was scary and elegant. Oh, missed a bunch of spots on this rock and couldn't tell because it was shiny. There we go. Mm -hmm. I must depart from the stream because this chair is extremely uncomfortable. Okay, baby. I'm sorry. Has to keep creaking. <laughs> yeah. That's wrong with creaking. I'll be watching everybody. I hope you have a good time listening. Thank you, baby.
That was Chelsea Butt, and she plays our our uh, wood elf druid in our campaign. Like we said, we started we started back in August, we believe, of last year, and uh, we've been playing through the Lost Minds of Pandelver. And sometimes we get to play every other weekend. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer. But it's been a really fun journey to be playing. Both my daughters play, my brother, a uh, very good friend of mine, uh, and uh, and my girl. We all have a good time. I try to come up with some good creepy stuff for them to deal with. And we've been writing more of their backstories into the game as well. So whenever they're done with this uh, campaign, we will move into another campaign um, that's also from a packet, but all uh, be able to explore more into their uh, backgrounds and their history as well. Oh, that's way close, sorry. I'm trying to get up in that spot. Oh, that spot there. There we go. <laughs> I hope so. I hope, it, I hope it's helping you. It's been really fun to create the game try to create good atmospheres for everyone to explore. Sorry, pulling this closer to myself, not realizing where I was at. Trying to get deep inside these little crevices that I made. In retrospect, I probably should have painted each part before I put it together. But maybe I'll do better on that on the next one. You have an okay DM. <laughs> I'm trying to get better each time we play, though, so that way you guys enjoy it. <laughs> I always think Chikorita when I see that. I know it's bay leaf now, but I always think Chikorita. <laughs> Man, I would have thought it would have dried faster than this. 
still got some areas that are pretty wet, even though they have dry. Hmm. Pardon me. Okay. Man, I'm really liking the way this is coming out. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm trying not to do too much of a thick layer. Um, I've just been having to go over some areas to really get into the crevices. I know that's causing an effect to it. To be honest, though, I feel like if I uh, started on just main floor after doing the rest of this black, uh, it should work out just fine. Because I do want to have some mixture of color since it's all dug out of a cave. Mm, maybe. I have noticed that it sounds more dead now rather than so high pitched and so echoey throughout the structure. So I'm pretty sure that once I'm done painting it, the uh, the styrofoam sound will disappear a lot and does feel a bit heavier than it did when I started. So I'm really hoping that that'll uh, kill that annoying sound for everybody. Hmm. I think I may have come up with the idea of how to uh, build the what I want to build in order to put the place the entire map on. At least I hope so. That a little bit. Oh, sorry. Some technical difficulties. Sorry about that. Let's see. Maybe if I do a little bit of this, pull this over, pull it under, maybe that'll help. There we go. I think that might work now. Cool. Okay. Thank you. 
I, I, yeah, it's pretty interesting. It's already killing a lot of that sound. Miss some spots down in here. There we go. Okay, so now that that's done, I guess I'm going to start on the far away areas and mark my way back to the handle again, or handle down here, and uh, put some black on there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just uh, surprised that it's already happening so quickly. I figured it would be after uh, like two coats or or um, at least the other layer of paint. I should probably get something to lay this on whenever I'm uh, getting close to being finished. But I'll uh, I'll come to that in a little bit. Still hold it for a while. Yeah, I'm going to grab something to set this on. I should do all right. Yeah. Get some more black paint. Oh, thank you, baby. Uh, yeah, I just realized I had this sheet behind me. Not too concerned with painting the bottom. I'm just kind of painting all of the edges. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, luckily you won't really see the base. It'll be just this edge that I'm doing on the sides. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. <laughs> I do not remember that SpongeBob meme. <laughs> Second. thought about oh good thank you baby um i haven't even thought about uh whether or not 
I haven't looked into whether or not there's any light down here. If anything emits any light or if it's just complete darkness. With it being a mine, I'm sure there's probably some type of lighting. But if not, that's going to be very interesting for you guys to find your way through. Okay, got done that first half. Ooh. I just thought I uh, oh, for a second. Now we we'll get this side. Miss some spots down here. There we go. Yeah, yeah, you do. But still, I mean, even then, if it's complete blackness, then it uh, it's still going to be very difficult for you to discern things. Which I already have the perfect song that I've picked out for this uh, for this map location. I can't wait for that one to be played. It's going to be good. No, when you haven't. Everybody had, I think, like three torches. And you guys have only used, I think, two. Maybe three at the most. And I mean, you're probably going to head back to town to uh, restock your provisions and everything. So I'm sure you'll probably pick up more. That was a smart way to handle the zombies, though. Don't even open the door, just burn down the building. <laughs> you may have bank don't know maybe something happens between you and town maybe <laughs> maybe you find somebody on the road who's really good at making things disappear Um, 
<laughs> what if it's a friend? Gosh, what if it's just somebody who is really friendly to you guys? <laughs> I think L if you think the entire group's motives <laughs> morals are dubious at best. Feels like anyways. <laughs> oh, this area is a little difficult to get to. Let's see if I can turn this around. There we go. Trying to get any of our other map dirty. There we go. Uh -huh. There we go. Um, that gave you guys one of the best games, like one of the best sessions ever so far. Uh, I think you should continue to be trustful, or what is it called, uh, trusting, and uh, and give people the benefit of the doubt because that came out awesome. <laughs> they weren't innocent they were just being nice to you never did they say they were innocent they just offered you a good place or a place some shelter in a, in a not so safe area <laughs> yeah, I gotta talk with him oh man I, I forgot I gotta message him I think he wanted us to hang out today or uh, or something like that uh, or maybe I don't know I'll message him and find out what's going on yeah, off there we go <laughs> wow guilty just guilty right not even innocent just a guilty that what uh Prisea thinks the world now unclean guilty guilty There we go. I've got to find out for sure what's, what he has planned for the day. <laughs> um you girl you guys got that free room and board from that nice lady with the little boy who got who he showed you how to get into the red brands area uh let's see 
you rescued a uh, a woman and her daughters. Uh, and yeah, she gave you something to go hunt down, but you never know. Don't know what's going to come about from that. You haven't taken that back yet. Pretty much. I mean, that's adventuring. Adventurers are basically mercenaries in a way. You have to pay for your living, so do so by getting treasures. Stay. Uh, stay. There we go. <laughs> wow. I think you may need to take that up with the group, Miss. Oh, you can't you can't reward us for getting this thing? Guess what? It's ours now, bye. That's messed up. I mean, if you think about it, these this town. People are starting to notice that good things are happening since you've appeared. She is out in the forest forever. How is she world worried? I need to talk with you more about your backstory, too. I want to make sure that I understand exactly where she came from and uh, what she wants to do with her life. Like if we can in a little bit, I'd like to take some notes and put them. I have some D and D notes I started in my phone that uh I'd like to do that and make sure I know what what to do with her. So we own the town? No. <laughs> what? Why would you own the town? I mean, I'm sure you could kill everybody in the town, but then Sildar might have problems with that. Okay. Was she of high uh, regard? Was she in a royal family? Was she in a medium, like mid-level royalty family? Like kind of like a, what's the word? a duke and a duchess and stuff like that. Um, I remember that she was going to be uh, forced into a marriage that she, a loveless marriage, and she ran away from that. What are her goals? Does she want to go back to that type of life at some point? Does she want to face it? Hmm. Oh, yeah, when you said own that town. <laughs> well, I... I, I was a little worried that you were like, we, you know, they are all work for us now. But um, the mayor's not dumb. He's just, he was just scared. Ah, okay. So she was like, Duchess. Toulouse, Toulouse. I'm a lady. That, that's why. Is that for Saya? Mm, okay. Do we want to? It's up to you. I want to make sure that I that we create a story that your character that for your character that you like that you want to pursue with it. Thank you. 
Well, yeah, <laughs> she is not a cat. No, no, I didn't say online, but I'm just saying uh, that uh, in general, it's, uh, it's up to you how you want her life to have been written. Okay, let's get at least tacky, but not, not wet. I think my problem with acrylic before was just not using a uh, proper uh, palette because this palette has been keeping the acrylic pretty uh, moist still for me to use it. Right. Um, that is all surfaces covered with black. Okay. I'll be right back.
Thank you. 
Okay, I'm back. Sorry about the wait, guys. Cleaning out brushes. I ran to the restroom and had some posting to do. Oh, thank you, baby. I am liking, liking this a lot. And I feel that most of this, eh, some areas, a little wet, but most of it is dry. Yeah. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and start with a different color on top. Let's see, it's copper, there's burnt sienna. Probably do a little burnt sienna. Get some white mixed in. Ah, actually, I'll be right back. I gotta clean this. I forgot I had not much room. Let's be right back. Okay, now back again. Get my palette, most of my palette cleaned. We got some watercolor on here I want to save. So. With the area that I'm using the acrylics in, I got all cleaned off. Okay, so there's white right there. Oh, and now the music has stopped. There we go. So maybe that's a um a hint to pick something else. Let's see. Mm, I've never heard this one before. Let's check it out. Whenever it's ready. Ooh, that's pretty. I like that. All right, now get some burnt sienna. Get the black out of the way. Don't do that yet. Ah, uh, that's right. I forgot. Maybe to do some dry brushing first. Let's see. We're going to test it out. Hmm. 
too much in that area. There we go. just sound like that because it's kind of poppy uh what about this let's see Right now I'm doing a dry brush technique I saw where I uh, take a little bit of silver, put the black, it kind of gives it a grayish feel, kind of a stony slash metal kind of feel. Oh yeah, okay. It's a little hard to pick up on the camera, but I'll try to do a little heavier, just a little bit, to kind of pop him out more. Let's see if I can 
turn that slightly. That helps at all. Yeah, sorry about all the bumps. Nice. In this angle, it looks just kind of shiny, but if I can get it to, uh, well, whenever the camera stops glitching, I don't know if you can even see that it's, there we go. Uh, slightly. It's not just shiny, but it's a, uh, a little bit more of a gray tone against that black. Right here, it's a little hard to tell. I'm trying to see if I can get the light to uh, shine a little differently. Maybe if I put something around this lamp. Give me a second. I might make that a little less harsh. Yeah, I'm trying to get a little silvery tone. Just a little different. I'm working, building it up, so it's going to take a little bit of time to get them exactly where I want them.
Hmm. I didn't change anything about it, so that's odd. Maybe it's just the placement of the, uh, maybe it's just the placement of the phone or the microphone, I, I should say. Maybe uh, certain angles works better. Let's try this. Hmm. <laughs> I like how you described that. Did you? That part. Dun dun dun. Okay. There, I think, is where I want those to be. Let's see if I add a little more. Yeah, I'm liking that. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder why. Hmm. <laughs> okay. See if I can start adding some layer on this. Okay. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's all pretty dry. Just little crusties. So let's try just burnt sienna on top. Maybe add a little white. Ooh, that's an interesting color formation. <laughs> Maybe. I mean, you find treasure pretty much anywhere you go. Just depends how well you look. <laughs> okay, maybe. this area. Sorry, I'm not trying to shake things up, but I am.
Thank you. Baby. All right, thank you for letting me know you're back. Um, Well, sorry about that. There we go. That should stay now. Sorry about that. Ah, oh, good. Thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that this comes out looking all right. The hell happened there? Yeah, that's coming out kind of cool. So I'm trying to get not so much shine on the on it. Let's see. Kind of trying to add some differing tone in there. Not coming out as as bright as I'd like it to, but I also kind of want it to be a little darker. In person, it's easier to see the uh, differentiation or difference in tone. That's a little bit of a brownish tone that I'm using now. Burnt sienna, white, and a little bit of black as well. Yeah, 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 it's similar to it. Mm -hmm. 
I was kind of hoping to get a little more red in there, just because it's a, a mine. Well, I guess beige and beige would probably be a better color. You look chocolate brown? I'm kidding. We have some different tones of brown for different areas. A little more well-worn well area. Good. I can't remember if Slogar mentioned it on the, the last stream when we were all talking how he was like oh I'm gonna get all the sneak peeks about the about whatever's coming up for us I was like yeah well I'll build them out of order <laughs> that way you guys won't remember exactly what order they go in or what leads to what I know. <laughs> I was like, dang it, dude. But he's working. I know. <laughs> how's your oh chelsea but <laughs> i was like how's your name it's Ch oh wait your screen name So it's a little hard to tell because I've got so much glare. I've been trying to diffuse this light a little bit just to make it softer. Let's see if I can change the tone. Uh, let's see. Does that help you at all? Is that? Maybe if I turn that down a little bit, more. Maybe if I bring it around. Really? Okay. It's a little harder for me to tell what I'm doing, but I'll figure it out. Let me see if I... Uh, that kind of light will help me, I think, a little more. Sorry, taking a look. 
for myself just to see how I how I feel about it. Maybe I do need to add a little more black in here. So put a dab over here. Ooh, I have an idea. Like the ground will be all of this like lighter brown kind of color, but the walls I have a feeling are gonna be a little bit different. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's a little too dim in here for me to really tell what I'm doing though. Otherwise, I'm going to have to keep on pulling it away from you guys. Ah, oh, yeah, perfect. Okay. So I want to do a little bit right around there. A little more red on there, I should say. One second. There we go. Thank you. 
So now, let's see. I'm kind of liking that. It's kind of hard to tell. Let's see. Mm. Just so much shininess. Interesting how black and 
burn sienna, make chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> the brownie caves the java of mount doom I do have to go to Hobby Lobby for some different things that I want to do for these maps. And I'm pretty sure they'll have what I'm looking for. Oh, these are awesome. It has killed a lot of that sound already. Like there's still, of course, remnants, but it just sounds more sick. Color up in there, down in there. Mm -hmm. 
down this little guy whenever I'm done. He's acting a little precarious. What do you mean that in though? Like the uh, the in what in what areas is what I'm asking? I think. Mm-hmm. 
like that. If I could program, oh, I have such a cool idea. If I could program little uh, LEDs to stick on your characters for their torches, that'd be so cool. Like if you're in a dark area, we turn off all the lights and your little characters just have the little torches on them and they travel through the map and try to uh, try to find your way through. Yeah, and you can program them to be, um, to, uh, it depends on what you're using, but you can program them to flicker like torches and stuff. Pretty much anything you can think of, it can do. You can find a way to program it to do it. It would just be the uh, figuring out how to put it on your character and how to make the wiring work to where it wouldn't be a problem. And it could be actually functional. Okay, so now I got some ideas. Yeah, like um, a lot of people make like bad guy minis um, custom with uh, LEDs and like opaque bases and stuff like that so that way they glow while they're on the uh, tabletop when you're playing with them. Let's see. I've got an idea for that. There it is. I could try. I don't know how well I do. This is my idea. Let's put little spots in the rock. <laughs> I could do figure how to do that. <laughs> I'm just putting little dots of silver in there. Thank 
<laughs> I am do type. Ah, sorry. But yeah. This is little dots that you can see that are glowing kind of. Right there. A little bit on that alcohol thing. That's what I'm using. Yeah, I did. You'll see. Get off. There we go. Thank you. I need to get more silver. Oh, okay. Guess that's what I need right there. Now, let's see some copper.
like man is it lagging a bunch for you because it is lagging a bunch on me on my end i should say <laughs> Thank you. Oh, dang it. Really like the way that looks. I'll hold it still for a second. Come on. Be good. Oh, you know what? Maybe if I remove this, it might help. Let me. Boom. Maybe that'll help. A little bit at least. Yeah, I really like that rock right there. No. Yeah, I, I killed the um, the background ambient music I usually have playing. That's from Restream. I don't know why I still had it on screen as if I was using it, but I haven't been using it. And so I was hoping that would fix a lot of that lag issue. So I was doing that right there right now. Basically, I want to make it like, you know, this is a mine, so there's pockets of, of, el of elements in the stonework that I just haven't gotten to, maybe, or didn't get a chance to get to. That's good. Well, I just mean um, there's a there's the ambient that you've heard before that I was using, and that's brought uh, brought up by Restream, and I've had it on screen as if I was going to use it, but I didn't use it at all. Thank you. 
On that silver, that copper almost looks gold. That's pretty cool. Right here. Or this bronze? No copper, yeah. that idea. Thank you. 
Okay, switch gears to silver now. I am really like this.
Yeah, I think that's looking pretty good. Sorry, <laughs> I'm just kind of getting uh, a little lost in working on it. Um, well, I'm trying out a technique that was used, that I saw used for metal, but it seems to be working all right for a cool, like, silvery stone or slate or something like that. Um, since it's a mine, I figured it would be... Uh, almost the entire room is or these rooms and caverns have great riches because they were you know sought after for so long so a lot of the walls are kind of valuable and in a way like I've put gold or copper and, and stuff like that in, in, uh, and silver into the walls and I know those items are not found together but this is a magical place um but almost as if like these areas, like this this uh, boulder that's here that has what looks like a strip of gold going straight through it is not a focal point for the people who are after this mine. Like they, they haven't even cared about the, the gold that's laying about in the walls right there. Like even at the entrance, it's, it's, there's valuables in the walls, but nobody's caring about those because there's something even more valuable deeper in. And so uh, that's why I'm liking this shade of <clears throat> almost a silvery uh, rock to make it <clears throat> like, uh, yeah, <clears throat> sorry, slate, yeah. Almost a slate color in order to you know, show that it could be possibly harvested into something, but nobody's caring about the, the metals that are 
readily accessible right at the opening of the mind. People want what's deeper in. Yeah, that's why I, that's why I put the bands of like copperish gold into the walls because it's like, yeah, they were mining, but then they found something even more valuable to where they stopped caring about the items that they could get right there at the entrance and started moving deeper. And like, uh, your, I mean, your players aren't going to see this top layer. <clears throat> or your characters aren't going to see this top layer. But it's for uh, for the players themselves to see this and to kind of have an idea of, you know, what is in here then. What is even more valuable than the gold and silvery uh, stone or metallic stone that is here. The ore that could be processed here that was just left about. Yeah. Thank you. I'm trying. I'm trying to come up with good stuff for you guys. I'm really liking this. Let's see if I can get any more of this. I think this may already be dry. Maybe if I add a little white to it. Pick some up. <clears throat> Thank you, baby. Try to create a little bit more of a uh, worn areas, I guess. Uh, more stepped on or or touched man why is that so why is that staying so laggy Now, a thought came to me that uh, I could possibly even look into resin molding of the map I create for you guys and sell resin molds of the, you know, each room. Like, mark the bottom, like, number one. You're like, you know, this is room number one in the Lost Mines of Endelver. And like all this, once it's resin, I could like sand all this down to where it's one solid, you know, piece, one easy, nice outside. And all of the inside will have every little nook and cranny and sell them either blank or paint them and sell them as a set. But I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> maybe. Ha, <laughs> 
<laughs> I think it's both. I think a bit is a bite. But I don't know for sure. Something I should definitely start looking into so that way I know what to do for my uh, streams. Okay, I'm going to add some more silvery items on the walls. <laughs> dude, dude, stay there. Yeah. Yeah, it's a big thing. It's like if you're streaming a lot, you need to have a lot of uh, data paid for. You have to have a high uh, a bit rate. Yeah, like I was saying, I have some ideas for the walls uh, that I'd like to go to Hobby Lobby and find some stuff uh, to put in here. I'm pretty sure it will look pretty cool if you guys uh, investigate it. Why? I do need to add some black down here. I know. This side. Right now, I'm just kind of <clears throat> getting rid of the excess black that's on the brush and just kind of seeing what I can do to 
top as well. Oh, huh, interesting. Yeah, see, it's a copper as well, so it's not even gold, but over the uh, silvery, over the silvery black, it really does make it look like uh, like gold. And now just kind of weathering the tops a little bit. Or at least what I can pass off as weathering. I'm liking that. I'm thinking it's pretty much done for now, anyways. There's an area I missed. I want to try to keep you guys as immersed as possible, so I don't want to have too many little dots of white sticking out. Thank you. Me too. I am liking that a lot. Yeah, really liking the feel of it. I'm hoping you guys enjoy it a lot. I mean, it is only the entrance, but maybe things will happen here. <laughs> Suspense. Oh, that's a good spot. I could put a chunk in there. Yeah. 
Had this stuff like right up to my face. It smells interesting. I've got about a month before uh got about a month before you guys are gonna be to explore this area. So I've got to hurry up and get everything I can done as soon as possible. I'm thinking about getting um getting a, a computer and starting to record some of these ahead of time and then post them so that way I can just record, record, record and uh, post as I need to. Some silver up at the entrance. I think it's pretty much done. Other than adding like some additional little things that I want to add that I don't have on me. Uh, pretty sure this is what I want to have done for it so far. Just dump in the last bit of silver that I have. Don't want to waste it and I see spots that I want to use it in. It's a little more natural. But yeah, I think that's done. This is room one in the Lost Mines of Mandelver, Wave Echo Cave. It's so, so cool. I'm really happy with the way it's coming out. Thank you. Hoping everybody likes it whenever we start playing. Right, so you can see that's the spot I was blobbing a bunch of silver into right in there. Waiting for the lag to catch up. Come on, dude. There we go. But yeah, right in there is a bunch of silver. Yeah. Let's see if I can get that in the way a little bit. That way you can see a little more of the colorations. Yeah. I'm hoping that your adventurers do well in here. With that, I think I'm going to end today's stream.
wanted to get a little bit more done, but this took longer than I expected. Hoping that uh, I can build the next room uh, by tomorrow, maybe post it, uh, maybe post some of it tomorrow. And then uh, on Wednesday, uh, show off a uh, uh, show uh, show off a commission I'm working on, and uh, hopefully ink it and start painting it. It's a Mirko for a good customer of mine named Garrett. He's uh, been a fan and a supporter of my art for a long time, and I really appreciate his uh, commissions. This is my first time drawing Mirko for uh, My Hero Academia. So I uh, hope you guys get to chat or get to tune in soon and check it out. Thank you, Chelsea Bug, for being here. I really appreciate it. And you guys have a good night.